this is Johnny. Today I'm going to be making 72 hour ribs. Instead of using a barbecue like I normally would, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to be using this. That's right, this. If you don't know what it is, stay tuned. 72 hour ribs. What I've got here is a cooker called sous vide. And what it is, is you vacuum seal your food into water in this bag and you set your temperature set your time seventy two hours and there it goes and what this is going to do is circulate the water keep it that, at that exact temperature and I'll finish them off on a barbecue and this is either going to work or it's going to be a complete disaster. For anyone who's never heard of the sous vide method and you're probably thinking that's not quite the way you'd like to have your food prepared, uh, nothing could be further from the truth. When it's cooked perfect every time and you can't make a mistake, how can you go wrong? And the whole point of the barbecue afterwards is to grill it up and get that nice sear texture and you can get your grill marks everything okay so two reasons why I'm doing these ribs for 72 hours the first reason is I really just wanted to see what it was going to be like to cook the ribs for 72 hours and see how it turned out I really want to get that meat that where it pulls right off the bone and so you've got to really break down that meat by cooking it at a low slow temperature so the other way to really break down that meat is this Okay, so my ribs are finally done. I'm about to take them out of the package. Oh, wow. Are really tender. I really hope this turns out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the package. I'm going to finish uh, finish them off with my little bit of spice that I used to marinate them with in the beginning, and then I'm going to take them out on the grill and sear them up and sauce them up and we'll try them out. While I'm taking these out of the package, I am now going to. Put my dessert in there, wine infused pears. And if these turn out, that's going to be a future video. I don't even think I can touch them, they're they just absolutely fell apart. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to even get these on the grill uh, without this thing completely falling apart. Uh, it is so tender. These ribs are looking really good. What a way to kick off the barbecue season. Oh. See that? Okay, finally the big moment is here. Three days. Let's see if it, was, if it was worth it. I know I made a mess of the ribs, but I just couldn't help it. The, the meat just broke down so much. It must have been the Adele song. You know, I could see the, te I could hear the tears. I could hear the tears as that song was playing. The meat was breaking down. Uh, I got sweet potatoes. I grilled up some asparagus. I got some fresh uh, emmental cheese. Uh, fresh from right off the, the wheel the guy cut it from the store uh, this morning and if you've seen that at rate that that episode of the amazing race Chris and Nancy you know what I'm talking about 
Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. And if I didn't, while well, I'm here for your entertainment, this is everything that I used, bone suck and sauce, and their, and their uh, seasoning rub. I love this stuff, it's really great. And I'm finishing it off with an Angry Orchard Cider. If you've never had this stuff, oh, I love it. Oh, that's really good. Go try some. So here we go. Wow. Mmm. Oh. oh my god. I don't even care about any of the other food that's here. Because this stuff is so good. Look at this. Unbelievable. Oh, this, this I like. Mm. The crisp crispness of the apples, uh, the apple cider goes with the pork. Mm. Mm. The cheese, cheese. Oh yeah. Fresh, fresh from the cheese wheel that was this big around. I'm not kidding. Mm. So you, there you have it. 72 hour ribs. That's better. So there you have it. 72 hour ribs. It was absolutely worth it. I can't say I'm going to do it anytime soon again. But I'm glad I did it once and it, uh, it turned out great. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go make a mess of myself. And I usually take my shirt off when I eat messy ribs like this. So you're welcome. Please subscribe. Ah, her. That your dreams came true. Down, down, down. I wish nothing but the best for you. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Check out the link below for more details on the sous vide cooker that I purchased. And as always, please like, subscribe, and share this video if you liked it. And if you didn't, comment anyways. <laughs>